Welcome to The Interest, I'm Ryan Kingsley. This Tuesday, we're joined by Shane Kidwell in a new segment of Tech Talk. After that, stay tuned for a new episode of Road to Riches with our friend Steve Richman. Before we hear from Shane and Steve, however, consider how difficult it's been for many mortgage companies to produce loans profitably over the past two years. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, the first quarter of 2024 marked the eighth consecutive quarter of net production losses, dating back to early 2022 when the Federal Reserve began raising interest rates. In the low volume, high cost origination environment that those rate hikes ushered in, originators across the country have had to get creative not just in finding loans, but actually getting them closed. At the Chandler, Arizona-based Geneva Financial, profitability is in the hands of the company's producers, not the back office. Putting profitability in the hands of producers gives them the tools to make more money in any market. That's why Geneva Financial attracts LOs who possess the optimism of rookies and the diligence of veterans infused with the ambition of entrepreneurs. If I'm going to pay you this much and give the branch managers and the originators the ability to make more money than anybody else in the industry is willing to pay you, I expect you to be a professional. I expect you to be a manager. Leadership, Van Trojan says, separates the companies that can make money from the companies that can't in a market like 2022 and 2023. If you haven't put ownership on the branch managers to manage and ownership on the loan originators to be professionals in this industry, you wind up in a race to the bottom, which is what the industry did. They can't, they don't have value. It's apparent when, when most of my competition is doing loans at a net loss. But the company's lean business model also plays a vital role. Geneva's founding principle in 2007 was to push the lion's share of profits to the originators, those on the front lines of driving value to the organization. That's never changed. It's the corporate margins, how Aaron set it up. I've never seen anybody do it the same. Other corporate margins from what I've noticed are maybe 200 bips, where ours is 50. Granting branches the benefits of the liquidity that they create puts operational control in the hands of originators, not a bloated back office. It's just less, he's taking less. There's no, there's nobody between me or Aaron or a branch manager and Aaron. Sean Wihara is a Las Vegas based area manager who's been with Geneva since January, 2023. He's worked at a number of larger national lenders. One of the biggest frustrations I've had in my career was you really don't have control over your destiny. You know, it, it's your manager, it's your corporate structure that they're going to be the ones making the call. At Geneva, however, as, as a branch that runs your own you know, P&L statement, you have control over that. Uh, whether you're controlling your margins, what you're paying your people. And I think that that was something for me over the you know, course of my career that I always felt I did not have control over. For producers like Sean, who want to open more branches across the country, they get to pursue those ambitions with greater financial flexibility. To me, it's hard to find another place that would give you the same opportunities uh, and pay you more money. I mean, it, I, I can't imagine on what that is. And Read more about how Geneva Financial puts profitability in the hands of producers at nationalmortgageprofessional.com. For The Interest, I'm Ryan Kingsley. We all dream of owning a home. But for too long, if you didn't fit the mold, you were stuck. Stuck because the system worked for everyone except you. We've changed that. Angel AI uses advanced AI technology to give a 100% trusted solution and fast answers for worry-free financing, allowing you to achieve fair and equal access to lending. Angel AI, AI you can bank on. Guys, it's Shane Kidwell. Welcome back to another edition of the Tech Showcase, where we highlight technology that all originators should and could be using. And this one is a fun one. And I know my guest 
nerds out on this all the time. Sean Richard is a great friend of mine. We've been in coaching together for years. He's down in the DFW, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Sean, what are you geeking out on from a tech perspective today? Hey, Shane. Uh, man, thanks for having me on. Um, excited about this tech because this tech gets no love whatsoever. And that's Google Alerts. And so we, we all know Google, we all use Google every single day. Uh, a lot of us don't realize the functionality of Google Alerts. So Google Alerts, I think you just get to alerts.google.com and you can go in and you can select words, you can, or you can you know, input words, you can input phrases. And what it does is Google will actually scour the internet on a regular basis. You choose kind of intervals of when you wanna get information it will scour the internet for those words and phrases, and then it will send you a summary email with all the different articles and links that go to anything related to those. So it's great for mortgage information. Um, personally, what I like to use it for is after I've sat down with a real estate agent and learned all about them, I'll go back to Google Alerts and I'll set up a few Google Alerts based on specific things that they do or like. So that way I can get quick, easy emails with links that I could share with them that make it look like I'm really going the extra mile and paying attention to the things that they like, which I am. I'm just using some uh, some super secret tech to be able to do that. I love it, man. It, it goes back to what I learned way back in the day in the fire department, which is work smarter, not harder. And this is a great Amen. way to work smarter. And guys, we all need more time back in our day. And if you can have the robots over at Google working on your behalf, scrubbing the web for not only things that you're looking for, but even to protect your reputation, uh, This can, or to even be able to look up reputations and highlights about other people that you're following, you're interested in. It's a great tool. Sean, my man, thank you as always. And we'll see you guys on the next edition. We all look for referrals, and most of us think about referrals with real estate agents. Hey, real estate agent, can I refer somebody to you? Hey, real estate agent, can you refer somebody to me? But you want to expand your network, not only to get referrals, but to give referrals. You should have someone in your network who's an attorney that you can give referrals to them. You should have somebody who's in your network who's a financial planner to give referrals to them. You should know somebody who has a really cool restaurant in your area. Who's got the best burgers? I'm referring you to them. Who's a person that I know that's going to be a great painter for a house? I can refer you to them. The more you refer people out, the more referrals will come in. Look beyond real estate agents and feel free to refer them out and let them know that they were referred. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to nationalmortgageprofessional.com.